Hello everyone. Welcome back to Manual Tutorials. Today we'll be seeing an even an odd signal example which was asked by one of the students in the comment section. If you also have any doubts related to signals and systems or any other electronics or computer science engineering subject, please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you. Also if you've not subscribed to Manual Tutorials yet, do subscribe and do like and share this channel and video with your friends in need. Let's start. This is a discrete signal example, discrete time signal. So what example, what signal we have is U of n, which is unit step signal. Unit step signal, as you know, starts from n equal to 0 and ends at n equal to infinity. And it has amplitude 1 from at each point of n. So at 0 it will be 1, at 1 it will be 1, at 2 it will be 1 and so on. Now to find even and odd parts, you know that even part, what is the equation? We are going to take the x of n, then we are going to take x of minus n, which is the reverse version of the signal that we have, and then we are going to divide it by 2. That is going to be our even part. Similarly, again we are going to use x of minus n, but we are going to subtract this, this time and divide it by 2 to get the odd part of the signal. So let's start with the even part. For both of them, we are going to require x of minus n. x of n we have already drawn. x of minus n will be u of minus n. U of I minus n means you are going to just reverse it around the amplitude axis. And when you reverse it, this is what you are going to get. So the signal which is going to start from 0 to infinity is going to start from minus infinity and end at 0 with amplitude 1. So that is what I have drawn here. Now what we have to do is, to get the even part, you are going to add both. When you add both, you can see that first signals amplitude from minus 1 to uh, min minus infinity to minus 1 is 0. Second signals amplitude is 1. So what you can do is you can just draw the second signals amplitude as it is. So from minus infinity to minus 1 the amplitude is going to be 1. At n equal to 0 you can see the first signals amplitude is 1 second signals amplitude is also 1 so adding both it's going to be amplitude of 2 at n equal to 0 this is uh, u of n plus u of minus n and from n equal to 1 to infinity first signals amplitude is 1 but second signal's amplitude is 0, so you can just draw what we have in the first signal. So, amplitude is going to be 1 from 1 to infinity. This is our even parts denominator. Now, to get the exact even part, you're going to divide this by 2. That is, the amplitude is going to get divided by 2. So, if you divide this amplitude by 2, from minus infinity to minus 1, amplitude is going to be 1 by 2 which is 0.5. Similarly, from 1 to infinity, it's going to be 1 by 2, which is 0.5. At 0, it will be 2 by 2, which is 1. So that is what we are going to get over here. You can see, here it's 0.5. Here it's 1. So at 0, amplitude is 1. And all the other points that is from 1 to infinity and in minus infinity to minus 1 the amplitude is going to be 0.5 this is a even part of the signal now for the odd part you are going to subtract so at n equal to 0 first signal's amplitude is 1 second signal's amplitude is 1 so 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0. So at n is equal to 0, our amplitude is going to be 0 in the resultant signal. Similarly, when you subtract second one from first, from 1 to infinity, first signal's amplitude is 1, second signal's amplitude is 0. So from 1 to infinity, our values are going to be 1 minus 0, right? So 1, 1, 1, 1 continuously and from minus infinity to minus 1, first signal's amplitude is 0, second signal's amplitude is 1. So it's going to be 0 minus 1, 0 minus 1 continuously until minus 1. 
which is going to give us a value of minus 1 across minus infinity to minus 1. So that is what we have drawn here. So from minus infinity to minus 1, first signal is amplitude is 0, second is 1, so 0 minus 1 is minus 1. And at 0 it's going to be 1 minus 1 which is 0. And 1 to infinity amplitude is going to be 1. So this is our x of n minus x of minus n. And to get the odd part, what we are going to do is divide the amplitudes by 2. So same like the previous even version, amplitudes are going to get divided. At n equal to 0, 0 by 2 is going to be 0. So anyways, it's going to be 0 at the n equal to 0 position. From 1 to infinity, it's going to be 1 by 2, which is 0.5. From minus infinity to minus 1, it's going to be minus 1 by 2, which is minus 0.5. So that is what we have drawn here. So you can say this is minus 0.5. This is minus 1, minus 2. This is 0.5, 1, 2. So this is our odd part. Hope you understood this. So we have got both the even. So even part is on top. This is our even part. And this is our odd part. Hope you understood this. If you have any doubt related to this video or any other concept. In electronics or computer science engineering. Please let us know in the comments and we will try to help you. Do share this video with your friends in need and subscribe to Emmanuel Tutorials for more. Thank you for watching.